Thank you, chauffeur. Welcome to the SHS Tech Awards 2021. Let's head on in. Hello to all of you out there, wherever you are in the world. It's Jonathan here, and welcome to the first ever SHS Awards Ceremony. So I'm gonna be your host this evening, but I will be joined by some very special guests from SHS to help me out. So without further ado, let's welcome my wonderful co-hosts, Emily and Louis, to the studio. Give them a little round of applause. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Now, guys, we are sorry we're not in the O2 this year. Although we have dressed for the occasion. Well, let's hope for next year then. <laughs> Hopefully so. But we have managed to make it work in our studio. Exactly. Well, we're here because we've seen the release of some amazing products this year in 2021 that we think have just dominated their category and ones that we think you should know about. Exactly. And the categories we're going to be covering in our awards today are going to be best portable speaker, best in-ear headphones, best over-ear headphones, best soundbar, and best TV. Good memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But make sure you do stay tuned until the end where we're going to be sharing our team's personal favourite products from this year. And we are also keen, guys, to hear your favourite products from 2021. So make sure you get in the comments and let us know. And just on that point, go easy in the comments. <laughs> Everyone is entitled to their opinions, of course, but there are no wrong answers. These well. awards <laughs> are based on us putting hundreds of products to the test this year and are a combination of our whole team's opinions. Now, trust me, guys, we've thought long and hard about these winners, and it's definitely not been an easy call for any category. There's quite a few arguments trying to get it sorted, but we think <laughs> we have come to our final conclusions. Yep, so if you're all ready, let's crack on with the award. So I'm gonna hand over to Louis to get us started. Thank you very much, mate. So. First of all, we're gonna start with the portable speakers. And so for us, these need to be durable, portable of course, offer a decent battery life and sound great. Now one thing that a lot of compact portable speakers struggle with is bass, which means brands need to get smarter about how to get more bass out of a small form factor. So these are all things we've considered in our nominees. Now there was plenty of choice on the portable speaker new releases, but we've narrowed down the nominees to the Bose Soundlink Flex at 14995, the JBL Flip 6 at 12999, and the Sonos Roam at 179. And the winner is, drum roll please, <laughs> the Bose Soundlink Flex. Yeah, yeah. very now, nice. Of course, the Sonos Roam is a very tempting option with all of its features on board, like access to the Sonos ecosystem, auto true play, voice assistant, sound swap, etc., etc. But for an out and out portable speaker, it just had to be the Bose Soundlink Flex. Now, this speaker caught us all off guard yeah. in the office as a late entry, with everybody already having their favourites, and it overtook the others after our testing just a few weeks ago. Now, while the design could maybe have been a little bit more geared towards a more portable speaker, maybe like the JBL Flip 6 as an out and out portable speaker, this is very hard to beat sound wise with a notable mention for particularly punchy bass. And ultimately, I think this is the most important aspect of a portable speaker and is why I think this could be the portable speaker to buy right now. <laughs> All right then guys, Emily will present the next category, which is best in-ear headphones of 2021. Thank you very much, Louis. Now, in a pair of in-ear headphones, we're looking for extreme comfort. Now, I'm talking headphones that you can have in all day long and you don't even notice that you're wearing them. We're also looking for a really immersive soundstage that makes it feel like you're watching the artist live and totally draws you into whatever you've decided to listen to. We're also giving extra points for something like noise cancellation mm -hmm. and for decent battery life, as there's nothing more frustrating than having to charge your headphones more than you're actually getting to wear yeah. them. Okay. So, which headphones have impressed us this year then? Well, the nominees go to the Apple AirPods third generation with an RRP of £169, the Bowers & Wilkins PI7s for 349 and the Marshall Mode 2s for 159 And the winner for best in-ear headphones goes to the Bowers & Wilkins PI7s. Oh, yeah. Now it was yeah. such a difficult choice for us. We were really torn between those and the AirPods third gen because the AirPods third gen really closed the gap between AirPods and mm. AirPods Pro quite dramatically really. Yeah. We also love the styling of the Marshall Mode 2s, but we think the PI7s offer a truly excellent performance for those listeners who want discreet but great sounding music for out and about. I would also add in there, the audio retransmission feature is one of the best things about yeah. it. You can hook up any analog source like in-flight entertainment, then just sit back, relax, and enjoy your content like a boss. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> we also want to appreciate the build quality of these. So from the black and gold earbuds, the satisfying click of the charging case. Love a satisfying click. Something Jonathan loves a lot. <laughs> um, these really are the holy grail for in-ear headphones for us right now. So it's only natural then we move on to over-ear headphones from in-ear. So again, plenty of choice here, but there are a few sets that really impressed us in the office. So the nominees are the Bang & Olufsen HX with an RRP of 449, the Apple AirPods Max for 549, and the Audio-Technica ATH M50X BT2s for 179. And the winner has to go to the Audio-Technica yeah. M50 XBT2s. Yes, you can get a step up in sound performance from the B&O HX and the Apple AirPods Max, but the price tag of the M50s along with the package that you get is just, it's just too good to ignore, yeah. So these build on the iconic M50 XBTs. The XBT2s actually add more features, but they've frozen the price at a very respectable 179. Gotta love them for that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Battery life is amongst the best on the market as well with 50 hours and that does come with an impressive charge feature as well. Now they're more than comfortable enough to wear for longer periods of time, making them perfect for being on the go, editing and gaming, with the latter being particularly good due to its low latency mode. The new Audio-Technica app is also a must use where you can customize the EQ to your heart's content and its dual forming microphone technology makes them perfect for both making and taking calls on the go. If you don't need noise cancellation and market leading sound quality, these are a really great choice. Thank you, mate. So this next category is a very important one, maybe the most important one, and that is the best soundbar in 2021. Now a winning soundbar for us needs to look great under your TV, but also sound amazing for TV, movies, and music. Now Dolby Atmos is quickly becoming a must have with the rise of Atmos supported content, as well as support for high res music streaming being an advantage. Yeah, I think high res is gonna be a massive, massive thing next year. Yeah. Definitely. And voice assistants are ever popular as well, so smart features should also definitely be considered. Now with all of that being said, we've narrowed it down to three nominees, and those are the Bose 900 with an RIP of 849, the Sony HT-A7000 for 1199, and the Sonos Beam Gen 2 for 449. And the winner for the best soundbar 2021 goes to the Sonos Beam Gen 2. A very worthy winner, I yeah, think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's unbeatable this year. Mm. Now, while its days might be numbered in the top position as we go into 2022 and beyond, right now the Sonos Beam Gen 2 may very well be the best value Atmos soundbar you can buy at this moment in time, and it will continue to improve your investment as the months and years go by. Now I know there are huge differences in price points and you might be thinking, but if I push my budget, won't I get a better sound performance? And the answer is yes, the Bose 900 and by far the Sony A7000 are better sounding systems overall as their uncompressed Dolby Atmos instead of simulated. So if they are in your budget, then great. But the key for us is value here and getting the best bang for your buck. The Sony offers 7.1.2 in a single system, but that's 1199. So with what you get from the Beam for 449, it just couldn't be beaten for us this year. Now, we simply couldn't find other soundbars on the market that could rival the Beam's feature set. So I'm talking about things like TruePlay tuning, its speech enhancement, and night mode settings. It's build quality and its soundstage, considering its smaller form factor. Now let us know if you found anything that can rival the Sonos Beam Gen 2 for 449. We'd be really keen to know. I think that's gonna be tough. I mean, if you can spot on a thing, then fair play. We'll definitely check it out. Yeah. <laughs> So next, we're moving from audio to visual and covering our favorite TVs in 2021, thank you very much, uh, to include LED, OLED, and QLED models. So it's been a big year for TV releases with some major updates in tech, including enhanced processors, gaming software, and much more. Of course, there are some incredible TVs available, as well as some very high price tags, but as always, we do factor value for money in our top picks here. This was actually our biggest category, yeah, wasn't it? We had yeah. the most, we couldn't narrow it down in this one. Yeah, we had so many notable mm. mentions, like 8K models, including the Samsung QN900A and the Sony Z9J are obviously pushing ahead with incredible 8K picture and upscaling. The Sony A90J was one of the most impressive TVs that we reviewed this year as Sony's flagship OLED. And the LG C1 has been a massive TV and a fantastic option for gamers with its gaming software and Nvidia partnership. 
And don't forget the Samsung Q60A QLED TV yeah. has also been a hugely popular model this year. Yeah. But when it came down to it, there was only one winner for us at the end of the day, the Sony A80J. Now for us, this hits the sweet spot of price and performance, giving you an incredible OLED performance without stretching your budget too much to the higher prices of the A90J. Now I love reviewing this TV and it convinced a few of us, I think, to upgrade our TVs at home because we were so happy with its performance. This is actually the AHJ here. We've actually replaced this in the studio too. We can't get yeah. enough of the AHJ to be honest this year. Yeah, so there's loads more I could say about this TV, but I just haven't got the time. So check out our review. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel if you want to hear more on that. Plugging his own videos there. Yeah, well, <laughs> someone has to anyway. <laughs> because we love surprises here at SHS, Emily's got one little surprise to present to you guys. So we thought one final category would be good to cover is our favorite features and updates that we've loved in 2021. So that's anything innovative or interesting we think you guys should be aware of. Now, some of the nominees in this category would include things like the retransmission feature on the PI7s that Jonathan mentioned earlier. Uh, also, centre speaker support in the Sony A90J, where the TV itself becomes the centre channel in your audio setup. And finally, the release of spatial audio. And the winner for us was spatial audio. Now, testing this out on the ARC earlier on in this year was a real highlight for us in the office. Uh, we did need to jump through some hoops, uh, like connecting the ARC up to a TV, using Apple Music on an Apple TV, all just to try and get lossless spatial audio. But it really did transform the sound performance for us. Yeah. We loved it, didn't we? We couldn't yeah. get enough yeah. of it. Um, it is still a bit hit and miss, depending on what tracks you're listening to. Um, but we do think this is going to be the future of streaming. Oh, we absolutely sorry. loved it. Uh, and we love the little taste that we had from it. Now that Sonos is starting to collab with Amazon and offering Dolby Atmos music on there, I think this will be much more prevalent in 2022, don't you yeah. guys? Yeah, yeah. honestly yeah. guys, go and watch our video on Apple Music and yeah. Spatial Audio. It's a little bit confusing, just sort of break it down a little bit. We've tried to break it down as much as we can, but if you're able to recreate that setup, you won't yeah. be disappointed. If you can test it out at all, I think you should give it a go, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Right guys, as we mentioned at the start of the video, we were going to reveal what our favorite products are out of every new release in 2021. So Jonathan, I'm coming to you first. Favorite product release of the year, what are you going for? Do I only get 10 seconds? Yeah. 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need a new TV, I'm not gonna lie. I've had that Sony, I can't remember what the model name is for God knows how long. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to have to go OLED. It's going to have to be the A90J. I yeah. love that TV. It's perfection for me. Yeah, yeah. incredible. And Em, coming to you now. I'm going to go yourself? headphones. Mm -hmm. uh, we mentioned the HX earlier, and I've just upgraded my XM3s to the HXs. I was very loyal to my XM3s. They're actually, <laughs> if you can get a hold of a pair now, they're a really great price, and I love mm. those headphones for years. Yeah. I'm um, still going to say that's a bit of an upgrade. That's a lot of cash. But the to burn. HXs, I yeah. love them. I'm so 450 with them. quid on a pair of a headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Right, Louis, and you, 10 seconds? Oh, God. Um, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to go more down the gaming route. So for me, two big releases this year, Call of Duty Vanguard and Forza Horizon 5. Those for me... You can't have two. It's one. <laughs> oh, Pick okay. the right one, Louis. If, if I had to choose between the both of them, I would definitely go Forza Horizon 5. I yeah. think, for me, if you haven't played that game yet, then just it's the graphics, it's just so immersive. I love racing games yeah. anyway, so for Driving me... Driving around in a little Jag in Mexico doesn't really get much better than no. that. No. So Adam, what about yourself, mate? What's your favorite product release of 2021? 10 seconds, go. JBL Flip 6. The JBL Flip 6, great choice. Well, there you go, guys. You've had oh. all of our favorite products of 2021. Whether you agree, you disagree, that's what we've all been enjoying this year. So that wraps up all the categories for this year, guys. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video from normal. So let us know in the comments down below, guys, what you thought. Would you like us to make this every year? and make sure you subscribe if you like our content because as soon as we get to that 50k we've got a nice little video lined up where we show you 50 of the best behind the scenes moments and bloopers from our videos it's going to be quite fun there's a lot to choose from <laughs> yeah there's a lot to choose from. Uh, i really think you're going to like that so uh, that's it from me i hope you've all had a great christmas and we'll look forward to seeing you in the new year for another year of interesting content see you then bye